What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are fishing back bays during a thunderstorm. It wasn't supposed to thunderstorm today, it wasn't supposed to rain, but I, I got some good tides for the back bay that I want to fish and I decided to go out early. It was right after sunrise, so we'll see what happens with that, but it is, it has been raining. Uh, all morning so we'll see what happens hopefully we catch some stripers maybe some bluefish i'm not sure what's going to happen with that but um yeah i'm going to try some swim baits small bucktails uh, maybe even some top water depending on what's happening and hopefully we get some so let's go Goes just to the end of the letters there. Dang. Did he want that or what? Go. Easy peasy. Look at that fish. St. Croix Legend Tournament inshore. What a fish indeed. Not expecting that. Here we go. Solid little schoolie striper on a nice little 3.8 inch Skytech. Mwah! What a fish. Very active, tiny micro striper. <laughs> but hey, fish is a fish. Especially when you wake up early. Mwah. Jeez. 
See you later, buddy. So what I've been catching fish on so far this morning is the St. Croix seven foot three medium fast action, uh, Legends Tournament Inshore. I have a half ounce jig head. This is a, I believe a boxer jig head from BMC. I'm gonna switch that out because I wanna kinda get more of a, a subtle, slower presentation, kind of out of uh, maybe a quarter ounce, maybe an eighth ounce jig head, both of which have very strong hooks for, for the stripers that I'm going after right now. But I was using a, th uh, yeah, 3.8 inch Kitek in white, and uh, it, it was working really well. I was just floating it down with the current in the back bay, and uh, I was catching some fish. I was, uh, I was literally about to pack it in before that first fish, because it seems like I never do well here with this kind of weather, which is perfect weather anywhere else, but I thought maybe the last couple times were just flukes, but they may have been. So now I have a VMC Boxer quarter ounce that I'm going to put a Sixth Sense Divine Swim Bait on. I believe these are 3.3s. I wanna say they're 3.3s. So I'm just gonna thread it on. Any other swim bait. The Sixth Sense Divines are very, very soft. I feel like they're a little bit softer than the Kitex. So they, uh, they break very easily. However, it's a smaller presentation like what I want to go after. I throw a loop knot in here. Make my overhand knot on the line, thread it through, and then just wrap it like four times and then back through the overhand I put in. So what that loop knot does is it allows the swim bait to actually be free a little, a little bit more than if it was tied direct and just being pulled by the line. So it can now wobble through here. Kind of, it's just like a swivel or a TA clip or something like that, except in a knot form. All right. I'm gonna switch back to the half ounce. Actually, let's try a quarter ounce bucktail first. I think it's the presentation size. I'm getting to the same places that the um, the half ounce was, as far as like getting the bottom and stuff. But I think maybe the divine swim bait just might be too small with the dirtier water. So not putting off as big of a paddle tail. So no, not as much vibration. So we'll see what happens with a quarter ounce bucktail. We catch a fish. So as you saw, I was cast in there for a long time. And then I finally was like, you know what? Maybe it's the size and the presentation and the dirtier water. So tied on that bucktail, first cast, almost instantly. Almost instantly with a striper and look at those, look at those gnarly scars. Oh, he's got them on this side too, what a trooper. Scars. So initially I was getting those those first couple stripers 
on a 3.8 inch Kitek, which is a little bit fatter body than the Divine swim baits and a little bit longer, I think about like a half inch. So then I wasn't getting anything on the Divine. So I threw on the bucktail with a big paddle tail and big presentation with the floofy fur. And uh, these are Spikes Bucktails. I make them. You can buy them on smoochrelease.com slash shop if you want to get a couple quarter ounce. But really good. And obviously, I did the right thing. <laughs> Let's see how many more are sitting here and just waiting. Here we go. I have this camera that I'm now recording on, which overheated before, so I took my chesty off and I put it on this tree in order to, you know, film with something at least. And uh, I went to position it and it broke off. Piece broke off. Now. So now I don't know what to do, because this is like the coolest, wettest, and cloudiest day I've ever taken this camera out on. I don't know why it overheated. I've taken it out in the 95 degree weather. Uh, settings are all the same, so I don't know. See what happens, but minor inconvenience. Hopefully we catch some fish. All right, so it seems like I'm not gonna catch anything else today. Sun came out, it's steaming hot and uh, it's too bright for these shallow back bays that I'm fishing. Most of the stripers, unless they're finding some peanut bunker pods and stuff like that, they're just not gonna be out and about in the shallows where I can actually access. So I wanna show you guys a couple things that I like to throw, like to carry with me whenever we are going for back bay stripers in late summer and early fall when that initial migration hasn't gone through yet. But like I said in the beginning, when I caught that fish, this is a St. Croix Legend Tournament inshore, seven foot three, medium fast action. Here is a quarter ounce bucktail. And the reason we're fishing with quarter ounce, mainly because we're using this rod, it can go up to three eighths though. So uh, that's, uh, I mean three quarter ounce. So it's, it's this one's rated from three eighths to three quarter. We can definitely throw bigger baits on here but there's a lot of small bait. We got a bunch of spearing, a bunch of killies in the back bay. We got a bunch of peanut bunker, smaller croakers. We got a bunch of really small baits and even shrimp all over the place. So I like to throw smaller stuff at the end of summer. Uh, you can throw big stuff, catch fish, whatever, uh, but I love doing the light tackle stuff. This is a great setup, Shimano Stratic 3000, 15 pound braid. And today I'm actually throwing 20 pound monofilament with a loop not attached to this bucktail and my normal swim baits. But normally I'm throwing 15 pound. I actually used this rod uh, in Pennsylvania when I was frog fishing. So I had a, a bigger uh, leader on there. That way I didn't snap off in the weeds. Um, so another thing that you like should start to throw are spoons, especially this. This is a dang near perfect representation of bunker. Um, just quarter ounce a half ounce up to three eighth ounce three quarter ounce whatever you whatever you want to throw um, you can throw deadly dicks you can throw little cast masters just something to mimic all of the bait in the water that way you get a better variety of, of bait options to catch fish on so if they're going after spearing or little tiny peanut bunker that's where those little cast masters come in handy and if they're going after a little bit larger peanut bunker, maybe like teenage bunker, kid bunker, you put it that way, uh, you wanna throw the bucktails or even the swim baits. Now I have a destroyed box of swim baits. My backpack got taken out by a wave when I was fishing the surf. So everything got rearranged. But normally I'm throwing a 4.8 inch Kitek. This is a uh, 4.3 or maybe it is a 4.3 instead of a, a 3.8 white that I was using. So I thought I was using a 3.8 inch Kitek before. It turns out it's the 4.3, um, 4.8. And they come in so many different colors. They come in the chartreuses if you need it for a little bit darker water. I like throwing VMC boxer heads. I'm not sponsored by them at all. They don't know I exist. 
but I have found that they are some of the better hooks and uh, better jig heads for this, for stripers and stuff like that. Uh, they come in a bunch of different colors, red, white, chartreuse. For the bigger baits, we're throwing 3 8 ounce, and these are flat shads, I believe. They just have a much larger hook, much larger hook than the boxers. Uh, they're a little bit heavier than the boxers, and it, it really just comes down to um, the size of the body swim baits that we're throwing that we need the bigger hook. The boxer head hooks, they, they work fine. That's something I like to throw. But like I said, we have this quarter ounce bucktail, and I like putting trailers and grubs on it, especially the gotcha grubs. These are four inch whites, and then also we sell on the website alongside these swim baits. I mean, these um, bucktails, we sell four inch grubs, and then we also sell five inch grubs. These are a little bit thicker than the gotchas. That way they have a bigger presentation, so they work good on the quarter ounce as well, and the uh, half ounce and three quarter ounce, all the way up to one ounce. They get a little, they look a little thin on the one and a half, but they work just fine on those as well. But we have those, and then I also like to carry with me a bunch of different presentations of shrimp. So I have some gulp shrimp, in case the bite's really finicky and I need that extra scent. I have uh, power prawns from Salt Strong. These are the 3.5 inch. I've caught a lot of nice stripers on those. I be believe these are the same thing. Power prawns 3.5s. Z-Man Craws. These are the Slam Shadies Salty Ned Shrimp Z's. These are also the um, Salt Strong stuff. Big Bite Baits. These are pretty cheap. You can find them anywhere. Uh, you find them in Dick's and most times they're on clearance. So you get a bunch of them. Fish don't know what brand they are. They mimic a shrimp presentation and they have little tiny curly tails at the back. So, And then just a different presentation for the uh, Z-Man uh, shrimps. When they start hitting top water and there's a bunch of like peanut bunker and stuff and you just see them slapping all over the place, if you can get either a weightless fluke style bait, these are uh, saltwater assassins and then these are zooms, doesn't really matter. Uh, if you can throw a weightless fluke presentation, which is what those are called, then you're gonna have some super, super fun times just going twitch, 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 twitch with those those flukes and just, they kind of just go like that. They dart like walking the dog on a top water and you catch a lot of really cool fish and it's good, it's good to see top water action like that. But yeah, that's what I throw when I'm going light tackle in the back bays, late summer, early fall. There's so many different types of smaller baits that are gonna eventually get larger throughout the fall. But there's so many little presentations that all these bigger bass are like uh, zoned in on. And uh, you got schoolies all over, you got fluke zoned in on this, you got bluefish all over the place, and even weak fish. So give it a shot. Hope you guys catch some fish with these techniques, these different types of baits. If I remember, I'll try to link everything down below, but if not, everything that I have used in previous videos are always down below. Rod, reel, waders, everything down below, but for the specifics, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to remember to put these things in the, in the description, but you can always find them anywhere on Amazon or just walking through Dick's or, or wherever you are, Bass Pro. All right, that's it for me. Time to go home, caught a couple of fish, and I had some fun. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, by hitting that thumbs up, you're gonna teach the algorithm to show you more of my content so you never miss any of it. And if you've watched everything, it's, it'll find a video that you haven't watched and try to suggest it to you in your homepage. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooth release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time.